Every day we want to reestablish what water level is for the pond so that as we're rocking in the pond, doing other things, we know exactly how high that level in the pond is going to be. So one thing that I've started to do with these Signature Series skimmers is setting the thumb screws that are right in here on the adjustable face plate. These screws right here, what I'll do is I will line up the very top of the thumb screw with the hole on the back side of the face plate. So it's easier for us to take the transit stick and actually rest it on top of this thumb screw as you can see right there he's gonna rest it there he's gonna make sure that the stick is straight up and down and then he will adjust the receiver until that thing has a solid beep and that will tell us exactly where water level is We are back out here on our awesome, incredible, over-the-top aqua blue pond. Temperatures dropped just a little bit. You can see we've got our stocking caps and our sweatshirts on. It's about 32 degrees, but it is sunny and it is dry. It rained a little bit over the weekend the last couple days. So thank God we covered everything up, avoided a super muddy mess while we were out here. But as you can see, we have a heck of a lot more leaves from this birch tree that's starting to drop. You can see we were really into fall colors now, just to give you an idea of the change of seasons. But we We've got a little bit of cleanup to do to get the site workable and then we're going to go ahead and finish rocking in the pond. We're going to set a couple more rocks over here along that side. We'll get one on that far side of that skimmer behind the pump vault area and then we're going to focus on rocking this in and then we will dig that bog, throw all that dirt back over where the machine sits because we're going to have a big three foot tall waterfall right off the side and then this is where that sphere collection is going to go along with that wetland filter. So we're hoping to make good progress today but we're going to focus on finishing out this area and then we'll We'll refocus our energy on rocking in the back edge of that pond and then we'll dig everything for our wetland filter. We've got Dan running to grab some material for the bog filter this morning and then it should be full strength by 10 o'clock today or about an hour and a half into the day. So let's get going. They're gonna finish pumping out the rest of the water, get kind of everything clean. We'll probably have somebody start rinsing everything today as well. Get that pond nice and clean. Once the pond is rocked in all the way around and we're just focusing on waterfalls and wetland filter, we will probably start filling this pond because I'd love to get those fish that are in those blue holding tanks back there back in the pond and we'll get some circulation and aeration going probably with our secondary pump with our circulation jets all right then Okay, so we are cruising right along. I love the progress that we're doing today. At the end of each day, we put the transit away, which is the rotary laser transit that you see over there in the background, as well as the receiver and the transit stick. So, and sometimes we leave the tripod up, sometimes we don't. Every day we want to reestablish what water level is for the pond, so that as we're rocking in the pond, doing other things, we know exactly how high that level in the pond is going to be. So one thing that I've started to do with these Signature Series skimmers is setting the thumb screws that are right in here on the adjustable face plate. These screws right here, what I'll do is I will line up the very top of the thumb screw with the hole on the back side of the face plate. And what that hole is, the screw on the front side of the face plate. Here, right there, right there. That's what we establish water level as in our skimmer when we're setting the skimmer height and all that stuff, or when we're setting the skimmer. So it's easier for us to take the, the transit stick and actually rest it on top of this thumb screw that's set right at water level, rather than us trying to line up on the front side of the skimmer with those screw holes. And a big reason for that is the face of this skimmer sticks out about a half inch farther than that screw. So we wanna make sure that our transit stick is nice and plumb which is straight up and down, left to right, front to back, so that we can get an accurate true reading from the receiver that Jack's playing with right now. So what he's gonna do is he's gonna stick the bottom of the transit stick um, and rest it right on top of that thumb screw, as you can see right there. He's gonna rest it there. He's gonna make sure that the stick is straight up and down, and then he will adjust the receiver until that thing has a solid beep, and that will tell us exactly where water level is. There we go. So it's that easy. Hopefully that's a little helpful tip or a trick for some of you guys and gals out there that have struggled with keeping that stick straight up and down and when you have to reestablish water level on a regular basis on a project. That way the skimmer, now that it's set, that stays constant so we just keep resetting water level to our transit stick regardless of where that the rotary transit itself is sitting at whatever height it's sitting because that number will change on the stick. But because the skimmer is set, we'll use that screw, that thumb screw as our benchmark every single day to set water level. Hope that makes sense. 
you guys have any questions, feel free to let us know in the comments and we'll be sure to answer them, okay? These guys are finishing digging out behind a boulder that we set the other day. We're gonna go ahead and set that big one. That'll be one of the last few rocks that we set. Then we're gonna come over and readdress this side where those spheres are gonna sit and go ahead and build out that waterfalls. The wetland filter will sit where all of that liner is wadded up over there. So we're gonna get the rest of the pond rock, get the waterfall built. We'll probably sink in one of those spheres here in the foreground, probably the medium. I think sounds is kind of what my gut is telling me, but we won't know until we get there. So this is where we continue the fun artistic side of things. We've got one more rock to set over there. Jack and I will set that right now and then go ahead and start backfilling all of that area. And then the last thing that we'll do on this project is going to be build this waterfalls that will sit right about there. It'll be about a three foot tall waterfall, just a big sheet style fall that'll fall into a pooling area and then split coming from this rock and then a little waterfall facing back towards that area as well, just to give it a little bit extra movement and some push from this backwater cove. Everybody. We are back day seven out here, I wanna say. Temperatures are continuing to drop. You can see the whole uh, winter get up today. Leaves are also continuing to drop from this birch tree. We had all the leaves out of there yesterday and had it all blown out. Everything's rinsed and we were gonna get ready to start filling it with water later this morning. But you can tell we have a little bit more cleanup left to do. So we're gonna go ahead and do that this morning. We'll blow all those leaves back out and we're gonna do the best we can to keep them out of there. We've got a considerable amount of the edging that has been done on this side of the pond. We are going to focus our energy on that waterfall fall this morning, try and get that built out. Once we get that done, then we'll focus back over on the wetland area where the spheres are gonna go and really try and hammer that out and get as far as we can today. Temperature looks about the same tomorrow on the weather forecast. So wish us luck, we're still plugging along. It's getting to the end of our season here. We probably have this project and potentially two more after this before it looks like weather might not continue to cooperate with us. Right now it's pretty decent. It's just a little chilly, but and we're gonna have to combat with leaf drop and that kind of stuff and just site clean up. Hopefully there's no rain coming. That would be the worst. So anyways, that's where we're at. That's the game plan for the day. And hopefully we're gonna make some good progress. Thanks. Good sign when the water is going in. We are supplementing it with the garden hose as this pond is much bigger than the last one. So we're gonna make sure we put that detoxifier in, but we are going to have the water from the fish tubs back in here today. The pond will be full. We are going to run our two to four pump that runs those circulation jets. We'll also throw some air stones in there until we can get the waterfalls running. Maybe, just maybe, we can get this waterfalls, the big waterfalls running today as well. That would be fantastic because then we can start getting some biological filtration albeit it's going to be minimal because of the time of year uh, that it is and then nothing is really established but it'll just be nice to have more water circulating through the pond than just the two to four through the circulation jets and if we play our cards right maybe tomorrow we'll be able to get some more water running through that wetland filter and the sphere area so we are rolling right along thanks for watching it's gonna be an awesome one
probably three quarters of the way, if not more full, but we still have like the top foot or so, or 10 inches of the pond to be filled. So as you can see, we got Dan behind me sealing up the biofalls, which is the last step before we really finish off that biofall area. Um, so that is a good thing. You can see we have a waterfall that's built behind me. We have the spill stone that's about 32 inches tall from here all the way down. There'll be about six inches of water in this pooling area and through here, but it's a nice big tall veil style waterfall. It will collect in this pooling area and through here. Some of it will split over that rock and the rest of it will go over this rock. We're gonna put a flat pancake rock where I'm standing in order to dam up the water and really push it over that rock and over that rock. There is a high point on the boulder there that it will split around, but I wanna dam this up and then have this just be a wet gravel area, which will be perfect for aquatic plants of some kind. I would imagine that something in the rush family or sweet flag or a chorus or something of that nature would look really, really good in there because it's only going to be about six inches of water tops. And then if there's gravel, that kind of stuff, but that would be an excellent area right over there to break it up, get some green inside the pond, help break up all that enormous rock work over there. But things are really coming together. We still have to finish that pooling area, but once we get the biofalls done, we'll get that all buttoned up, ready to roll. We were going to do like a long hot dog rock kind of along the back up in that upper pooling area. Notice the biofalls is not facing the waterfall stone itself. It's actually completely hidden back behind that frame rock, which is a technique that we really like to go for to really hide that biofalls so that it looks more like an organic spring fed water feature. We continue to put some more rock work along this back edge because we want that berm to feel to scale with the project, we end up having to bring soil in all the way up as high as the bio falls all the way along. So that's why that big boulder's there, some of these other big rocks, and then this will be cut down probably another eight inches, and then we'll level everything else back out towards that beautiful spruce tree, and we're going to dig our wetland in the morning. So the waterfalls will be totally done and built. We'll have that area just to put gravel down, get a few lights in there, and then that will finish off that area, and then we'll be able to focus our entire energy on bog, the remaining spheres, and clean up retaining wall work, so on and so forth. So we're still making progress out here. Just really, really pleased with how the pond came together. It's nice to have those fish back in and get them out of their temporary enclosure and back into their pond, their new home. We're gonna get that Aqua Surge 2000 to 4000 pump that sits down in the vault along with our wetland filter pump. We're gonna go ahead and get that thing rolling just to get some more water circulation through here and just keep going. But it's looking fantastic. Really, really well. Awesome.